On this episode of South Hall Computing, do you have one of the following Pioneer AVIC head units for your vehicle? Well, if you do, we have a way to back up the software on it in the event it crashes. And that's coming up next. Warning, the following video is performed by a trained professional. It is meant for educational purposes only. Please do not attempt to try anything you see here. Enjoy. Hey YouTube, Dan from South Hall Computing, and today we have the Pioneer AVIC X710BT on the bench. We're going to back up the software on it. Believe it or not, this particular head unit is running a version of Windows CE and there's a nice little utility out there that we're able to use to get into the file system and make a backup copy in the event of corruption in the OS or any of the other software that runs it. This also supports the AVIC F90BT, F900BT, F700BT, F7010BT, and lastly the X910BT. Any other models should be disregarded for this. So first, you need to get yourself an SD card. Here we have a 16 gigabyte one. 16 gigabytes is actually the limit for these head units. So don't go out getting a 64 or a 32 gigabyte because it won't work. You also want something more than two gigabytes since the flash memory in these head units is only two. You want more than enough room in the event you might run out of space on your SD card. But before continuing, you should have at least firmware 2.0, 3, or 4. To find out if you have that on your AVIC system, you're going to go to settings. You're going to go to system settings, if I could hit it correctly. And then you're going to go to service information. And as you can see here, version 3, so I'll know this utility actually works on this particular head unit. Okay, so first you want to go to the description and download any files that are required for this. The first file you want to grab is from the avic411.com forums. And the file that you're looking for is called testmod underscore v2.3.rar. Once you've downloaded that to your machine, you can continue. But in order to download it, you do have to create an account on the avic411.com forums. Once that's done, you might also need a special utility to decompress this RAR file. If you find yourself double clicking on this particular RAR file and nothing happens or your computer's just basically confused and doesn't know what to do with it, just do WinRAR in a Google search, head over to RAR Lab, then download and download the appropriate version for your particular operating system, be it the x68 or the 64-bit versions. Once you have installed your RAR utility file to open up this test mod archive, just right-click on it and just say extract to test mod underscore v2.3. Now we have a folder here and we're going to need it in just one second. But next, we need to format the SD card that we're going to use inside this AVIC head unit. So, first, go to My Computer. And for this particular machine, the SD card is the D drive. This letter is going to be different for your machine, being that each machine is different. So I'm going to right-click on my SD card here and say Format. Now I'm going to make sure here that nothing else is selected. I'm going to go with FAT32 because that's the format that the AVIC head unit understands. You don't want NTFS or any other format for this particular file system. I'm going to go ahead and do a quick format and click start. Your computer is going to warn you that it will erase any important data that may be on your SD card. If that's OK, click OK. Once your format is completed, you'll get this nice dialog box. We'll close this, we'll open it up, there should be nothing in that SD card, and basically you're going to copy that test mod folder over to the SD card. Let the copy finish. Next, we're going to go ahead and create a new folder here, and we're going to call it 710, or I should say x710 underscore backups. 
And we'll use that later to make a backup of our AVIC head unit. So now we're going to close the window, remove our SD card, and move over to the AVIC head unit. Okay, now that we have successfully copied the test mode uh, folder or directory to this SD card, what we're going to do next is some of you might have a blank SD card in your unit, so you're going to go ahead and take that out. As you can see, it's a blank card, just meant to keep the dust out and keep the connectors clean. I'm going to go ahead and put the SD card in. Okay. Now next, right here is the reset button for your unit. So we're going to go ahead and press that while the card is still inserted. I can press it. There we go. As you can see, the device rebooted into Windows CE here, so hopefully it stays in focus enough, but we're going to go to My Device. I know it's kind of hard to, to read it here, but you got to trust me on this one. So with a some sort of pointing utility, um, these particular head units come with their own little stylus. So this one here, I just happen to use one of my sponger tools here, so I'm going to double click on that. By clicking on it twice and as you can see you have my documents application data my flash disk which is the actual hard drive in the unit and the storage card and that's our SD card so what we're going to do is we're going to go to my flash disk double click I could get it there we go and now I'm going to go to edit Select all and edit, copy. Then we're going to go back to the storage card and that X710 backup that we did before. And we're going to go edit again and then paste and let it go. Okay, so depending on the speed of your SD card will dictate how long this copy takes. So this took about 15 minutes. It could take anywhere from 15 to 20 minutes. So now that the copy is done, your AVIC unit is backed up. So what you need to do next is, I'm just closing all the windows here, go over here to restart, double tap, and then remove your card. And voila, that's it. You've successfully backed up your AVIC head unit to an SD card. So if it ever gets corrupted, you could put this card back in, copy all the information back, and have it fully restored. And that's pretty much it. If you like what you see here, give this video a thumbs up, leave a comment, and even subscribe. It would be greatly appreciated. This is Dan from Southall Computing, and as always, until the next time.